The bell work for April 10th. I'm going to assume that you can add two polynomials together. I'm going to show you how to multiply them, although I'm sure you know how to do that too. cancel out and so I have um, F G multiplied together of minus 1 looks like this um, it's minus minus 1 to the third power maybe I should have collected that huh plus minus 1 so I plugged in the minus 1 and what do I get? Well, let's see. The minus 1 survives the odd exponent, only to be met by this other minus 1, which makes it positive. And then I have a minus 1, so I get 0. So this is equal to 0. You remember the composite. The composite says, do the one that's closest to the number first. So we're going to do f of x. So I plug in minus 1 to f and I get 1 and minus 1 which is 0 and I take the results and I plug them into G and I go ahead and get my answer okay let's see we have oh this is 4 to the third right and this is X to the fourth to the third and this is Y squared to the third and uh, this is 3 to the third and this is a to the second to the third and it's b to the third to the third look everything's to the third power or well, at least after I got done with it everything's to the third third powers I meant to write back there I meant to write to the third power hmm okay so anyway um, yeah so what this is is the difference of two perfect cubes which I know you guys have that formula memorized in your brains and it goes like that and you can plug in those numbers and letters let's see here um, so f of x minus 5, well, okay, instead of plugging in x, I'm going to plug in x minus 5. So that's going to be x minus 5 plus 1. And it's going to be x minus 5 minus 2. So I plugged in, instead of x, I plugged in x minus 5. But that's not too bad, right? x minus 4 over x minus 7. I think that's it. I think that's done. Okay.